Good morning. It's 5.37 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yes, it's awfully early here on the West Coast, but that's fine. We're looking at the gap open down on Google right here, right now. Another thing that we're going to cover that we have on StockMarketFunding.com, and we have repeatedly and repeatedly told you, if you were an innocent bystander, that there is a correction, and you're going to see that correction. You already are. And one of the things that we're going to cover is the pre-market gap open down list right here. You got Google leading away with $7, G-O-L-D, which we like, down $4. You got Apple and its debut today that got racked from $705. And we warned people, we told you to get out of it. Yes, they got an analyst meeting type deal set up with their new product launch today. We feel that the product is going to be priced too high to be competitive with new gadgets coming and looking forward they will report earnings Thursday after the close and they too must go to the woodshed so for you Apple lovers out there be leery be careful we will be shorting into any up moves again but let's take a look so you got Amazon gapping down you've got the futures gapping down Nasdaq futures have not had 28 handle gap down in months since we hit the bottom there in June and we've had this big rally up that no one was involved in they can't figure it out well now they got a chance to buy on the dip that's the good thing about corrections the earnings season which has driven this pre-market opening down it's not so much any real big headline event it's the fact that we said the earnings season was going to be horrible and it is and since 2009 we haven't had any negative earnings growth contraction and as we clearly stated before this earnings season started before the fact folks not after the fact if you're looking before the fact and you're reviewing this video then you better just go that way and go with people after the fact we do it before the fact that's what makes money that's what puts on risk that's how you survive in the marketplace we will be buying dips on good quality stocks because this correction will allow people to get in is what it will do and it is red October on the gap open up list I've got one stock that is above a dollar two of them ARMH and CYNO that's it Yahoo reported a fairly decent quarter the bear SQQ that's been oversold forever has got to finally the bear ETF SQQQ has a gap up Gap open down on the NASDAQ composite leading the way. I can tell you that they haven't had a, a pre market futures gap down in the NASDAQ 100 of this magnitude, almost 30 handles. We have about 140 handles down in the uh, futures on the Dow. And the SP is down 17.6. And we talked about actually the Dow Jones is now down 151 handles. And what we like about days like today is it washes those bulls out. And so it lets the bear get up on top of that bull and start eating it. Then at the very bottom, we will take those trades off the bottom for a quick gain. And once again, we welcome Red October. And the corrections that happen. And the public, once again, does not make the adjustments. And like I said, a correction was well overdue. This is the gap opened up in the pre market. NASDAQ futures are gapping down about 30 handles. These are the names Google, Apple leading the way. Your big bellwethers, G O L D, it's a bellwether. Price line's been coming down. We said there was going to be big corrections in all of these bloated up stocks. This Apple trade today will be dealing with it. It was a great buy off of that bottom at 609 because it was for a trade. And we told people yesterday you must ring the cash register going into the close so that you could get lower pricing levels for new entries and exits. Google trade up here. We said it has to come down around the 650 area. Yesterday's low was 669 and we're going to work on that. 
basically what we love doing is taking this big left elbow gap down in the futures market then picking off the good quality stocks off of the bottom buy them and then sell them for a profit ring ring that cash register ring ring that cash register I will tell everyone you are going to be below the 50-day moving average on the Dow you're going to be below the 50-day moving average on the S&P we told you what that 50-day moving average was and we also said we would go below it down to other key levels of support on the S&P if they do not hold those key levels that I have mentioned herein you will go lower however it will create a buying opportunity for us as they shake out everyone else as they shake them out we will be there to purchase at the bottom once again pre-market futures Nasdaq 100 key levels S&P and Dow will be below the 50-day simple moving averages and we told you what those simple moving averages were and we told you you were going to go below those and that price exhaustion was at the high of these markets from the last run from the June lows all the way up to this red October that you would have to have asset reallocation model and you would have to have profit taken and you would have to have that correction and just remember one thing people there are going to be opportunities at the bottom in some of these names as these corrections play their way out and it's how you can short the market down to support get long back in the market going back up again that's what it's about and the people that are not trained correctly well when you get tired of letting this happen to you because there hasn't been any gap down volatility but it's here and you know what learn how to trade it 